Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching eScoding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Drupal on cPanel uh, using cPanel on a shared hosting server. So let's get started. So make sure you've got your cPanel up. So log into your cPanel. Also, you want to make sure that you have added the domain to the, the cPanel or the hosting server account where you want to install the Drupal CMS. So this is the domain that I will be using to demonstrate this Drupal installation of cPanel uh, with cPanel on a shared hosting. What it does uh, when you add the domain name or basically add on domains, so click on add on domains add the domain, update all the records, the shared IP address and etc. And then it adds the domain, also creates the directory where you can keep and install upload your CMS or custom or static HTML websites. Okay. So I assume that you already have added the domain name that has created the document root directory which is here under uh, file manager so also i have added the ssl installed the ssl on this particular domain so where can you see that you can simply go to ssl status I've got the SSL installed for partic this, this particular domain. Okay, you can just look up. You can see, so this domain is SSL. Yeah, right here, right here. Okay, so what I will do now, I'll go ahead and install the uh, Drupal on this particular domain. So what you can do, you can go to soft QLess. So every cPanel has soft QLess apps installer, or you can go to soft QLess apps installer section here and look for Drupal if you find it in this. If you don't, you simply click on this Drupal. Sorry, cPanel's soft QLess apps installer and if you don't if you still don't see the drupal uh, you can simply type in drupal and click on this drupal you can see it, it is under portals and cms drupal so you can explore everything okay imports etc i don't have to import it from okay import software to choose a protocol in the directory option so what i will do i will go ahead and install it instead so you can see you have 10.0.7 9.5.7 so simply go ahead and click on install select the domain name where you would like to install this drupal select the drupal version which is going to be latest one and this is the site name i'll leave it as it is this is the admin account so this is the username you definitely want to change it to something which you can remember and it is not the very common one like admin etc then the password you definitely want to have a strong password which scores above 80 one working email address for this particular admin account so that later on if required you can change uh, the password advanced options this is basically if you want to change the database name so uh, also the table prefix so i'll simply say it's and then one email where you can get all the login credentials 
the installation is login credential okay but they don't send you the password they send you the username and where this uh, cms is installed what is the table and prefix in database username so go ahead and recheck everything this is cron jobs every 10 minute no you don't want to do that because this will slow down your system server so what will what i will do uh you have to put this in uh in minutes so basically you want to go ahead and say 24 into 60 so um, let's do differently so 24 into 60 let's say 15 days not like right that copy that so after 15 days you want to have a clone job running only that way so Um, I'm happy with everything now. I'll go ahead and say install. And you can see it is going to install. Oh, Chrome manual is wrong. Valid. Okay, so it didn't accept that. So I'll say 59. That will slow down my server. So here we go no clone our world is specified so something like that make sure you are happy with all the options okay so this is going to install drupal 10 on our server and you can see it says installed successfully congratulations so now if you go to cpanel uh, file manager and you can see you got your drupal installed basically you can log into your administrator account you can view your uh, drupal website now if you go here all installation uh, you can basically clone it back up it edit detail what you have to be edited database name okay so you can see where your database is located and where it is installed if you admin url etc and this is database user you are directory where it is installed select additional file and folder from the following list okay so this is how you can install drupal on a shared hosting with cpanel soft QLess apps installer if you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.